my old Triumph Tiger 955i. I'm going to have a go at testing the stator. Right, so basically stator wire coming outside of the engine, follow it around, already loosen the plug, pull the plug down and pull it out. You've got to press down just here to get this pin to go down before it pulls out easy. Otherwise you can gently get a um, screwdriver, put it in there and give it a little, little fiddle just to help that along. Right, so there we go. Got your three connections for your three phase. And I'm going to test this using the ohm meter. So I'll whack my gauge around to 200 ohms. Make sure my wires are actually in the ohm side and the common. Grab my probes and jam them in. So just need to jam it in all of them basically one at a time. There we go. Again, all the readings should be roughly similar. Um, so 0.8, yeah, fine. Yeah, get the next one. Yeah, 0.8, wonderful. track where I am now so I'll just run it around some more just to point eight yeah point eight wonderful that all seems to be very constant so ooh, now I want to make sure there's nothing shorting so I need to connect the negative probe either to the battery negative or earth anywhere on the bike so I'm just going to earth it to this nut because it's just, well, convenient. Whack it on my neck. There we go. And then jam it in my holes. Right. Nothing. That's good. Nothing. That's good. Nothing. That's good. If you get a reading, it means it's apparently shorting on the inside and that's the problem. So from what I understand, those two tests should have diagnosed it, so that does seem to say it's okay. Hmm, right, wonderful.